Hi everyone, I welcome you again for uh, the national webinar which is uh, being organized by the Government Science College Autonomous Bengaluru and I am Dr. Narahari N, Head Department of Mathematics, University College of Science, Tumkuru, Tumku University. Yeah, in this uh, short presentation, I am going to take you through the JAM 2020 question paper in mathematics. So this is the first sheet in the question paper. There are going to be some specific instructions. As uh, discussed in the previous presentation, the exam is going to be for uh, uh, was conducted for three hours, and there were sixty questions ca carrying hundred marks, and there were three sections. This uh, same pattern is being followed for the 2021 JAM examination also. So understand the pattern and uh, try to be clear with the whole thing. So section A contains thirty MCQs. Out of which 10 as you, as you can see here yeah 10 questions will be for one mark and uh, 20 questions will be for two marks the same way section b has 10 msqs multiple select questions and each of them will be for two marks and uh, section c will have 20 questions out of which 10 will be for one mark each and uh, 10 questions will be for two marks each and in section A, there is going to be negative marking. So for one mark questions, there will, uh, you will lose one, one third marks for each wrong answer. And for two marks questions, you will lose two third marks for each wrong answer. However, there will be no negative marking for section B and section C. And there will be no partial marking for section B. And only virtual scientific calculator will be given and that will be allowed. And no other electronic gadgets, charts, graph sheets and tables are allowed in the exam hall. And there will be a scribble pad which will be given to you for rough work also. Yeah, these are the standard symbols, standard notations that are used. These are the same notations that are uh, also followed by most of the colleges and universities across the country. So there will be not much of an ambiguity as such. But uh, to be on the safer side, they will also give you this particular sheet. They will mention the notations as well so that there will be no ambiguity whatsoever. Yeah, these are the questions which come under section A. So as you can see here, question 1 to 10 will be for one mark. And these are multiple choice questions. So these are the questions. As you can see here, for example, which of the following is false? As you can see here, there are four options. So if you look at these, uh, you can easily make out that uh, as you can see x by e power x, the limit of this is going to be zero. You can easily apply a hospital rule for this. And for this, if you directly apply the limits, sine 0 will be 0 and uh, 1 plus 0 is 0, uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, so 0 by 1 is 0 here. So for this again, uh, um, 0 if you take, you are going to get 0 into e power, uh, uh, in, uh, e power infinity which is 0 into infinity. This is indeterminate, but if you look at this, if you take x as 0, cos 0 is going to be 1 and uh, this is again 1, so 1 by 1 is 1, so the limiting is value of this is 1. So obviously this is false. And because this is a multiple choice question, once this is false, you need not even check as to what the value of this is and you can choose this to be the correct answer. Okay. So similarly, you have a, a simple question here, f of x comma y equals this. So you will have to find out the partial derivatives and check whether these ex expressions are valid or not. So there are 10 questions for one mark and uh, 20 questions for two marks each. Once again, these are uh, multiple choice questions so only one option is going to be correct so as you can see here questions are there from various topics series um, differential calculus of calculus of one variable calculus of two variables there are questions on uh, uh, vector calculus also gradient as you can see here this is again a question on vector calculus and this is on uh, integration so uh, uh, this is on uh, matrices so as you can see here questions will be from any of the topics that are mentioned in the syllabus there are going to be questions on almost every topic and there will be varying number of questions so if you look at one or two previous year question papers you will uh, get a rough idea as to what will be the topics on which uh, uh, like how many marks will be there on each of the topics and based on that you can uh, start preparing yourself. So as you can see here, there's a question on differential equations. Once again, matrices. In fact, this is on linear algebra as you can see here. It's on linear independence. And this is once again on uh, vector integration and so on. So 30 questions. 
will be for MCQs, will be on MCQs. Section B, MSQs, there are going to be 10 questions carrying 2 marks each. So here there are going to be uh, multiple answers which are correct. So you will have to choose all the correct options. If you choose less number of correct options, you will get a 0. And if you choose more number of correct options, you will get a 0 again. Only if you choose the exact number of correct options, you will get full 2 marks. There will be no negative marking here, unlike how it is in section A, where there is going to be negative marking. So these are the 10 questions, 31 to 40. Once again, questions will be on all the topics as such. Then section C, there are going to be 20 questions. 41 to 50 will be for one mark each and uh, 51 to 60 will be for two marks, as you can see here. And uh, each of these questions will be a fill in the blanks question, a numerical answer type question. And the answer is going to be a signed real number. It can be a positive real number. It can be a negative real number. It can also be a zero. And you will have to write the answer correct to at least two or three decimal places. And the correct answer will be given in a range. And uh, based on the answer that you are given, if that answer falls in the range that is mentioned, the answer is considered to be correct. And this uh, going to be no negative marking here and there's also going to be no partial marking here so 51 to 60 will be for two marks and uh, 41 to 50 will be for one mark each so this is the examination uh, paper question paper for uh, jam 2020 mathematics so it's the same pattern that is going to be followed for uh, jam 2021 also so um, take up the exam seriously prepare yourself well and as you have seen uh, in terms of cutoff, if even if you get uh, a score around uh, 40 out of 100, that is going to be a very good score for you to get into admissions into any of the IITs. And uh, as you already seen in terms of the matrix and uh, in terms of closing ranks, you you have seen that some particular institutes, uh, 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 like many uh, top ranking uh, students will be choosing a particular institute and the next uh, ranked students will be choosing uh, the next uh, level institute and so on. So if you want to get into a very good institute, you will have to have a very good rank. And when I say very good rank, as I mentioned, even a score of 40 out of 100, which is considered to be a pass uh, score of in any ordinary examination, a 40 out of 100 is going to be a very good score for jam examination. And scoring a 40, uh, 40 out of 100 is not a very challenging task. I agree that it is going to be a little difficult, but it's not going to be very challenging as long as you listen to your classes in your bachelor's degree and you prepare well for the examination. So particularly if you are in the first year or in the second year, then this is going to be a golden opportunity for you. So prepare yourself right from now and uh, that will definitely help you to get through the JAM examination. So prepare well for the examination. Uh, we are also going to release a, a sample paper after the, uh, this particular presentation for you to attempt and practice. So go through the uh, paper and try to understand what is being asked and try to answer accordingly. So prepare well for the examination. All the very best. And uh, at this juncture, I also would like to thank the organizing committee of uh, the Government Science College Bengaluru for uh, organizing this particular webinar. I'm sure this is going to be very helpful to all of you who are uh, taking part in this particular seminar, uh, in this particular uh, webinar. So take the exam seriously, work hard. That is the only solution that is going to be there for you to qualify and get through the JAM examination. So all the very best. So thank you, Sumitra ma'am. Thank you uh, all for uh, giving uh, me such a nice opportunity for uh, presenting this particular uh, um, session in this particular in uh, this webinar thank you once again have a great time take care take good care of yourself stay home stay safe thank you